This morning, the president's pick. He's a man of tremendous talent and tremendous experience. Army strategist H.R. McMaster will get to work as President Trump's next national security advisor. The active duty lieutenant general and war vet is known as one of the Army's leading thinkers. What a privilege it is to be able to continue serving our nation. Trump's hire comes after the firing of Michael Flynn, who lied about sanctions talk with the Russian ambassador. The administration now forging ahead with new executive orders on immigration expected this week. A senior White House official says in the new draft, people from seven predominantly Muslim countries targeted in the first order would still be banned. This time, Syrian refugees won't be automatically rejected. Green card holders and dual citizens of the U.S. in those seven countries exempt. Lies and fear won't get by. The president's policies and first month in office sparked holiday protest. Not my president's day demonstrations were held in dozens of cities. I don't listen to anything he says. Um, I just, we're a disgrace now around the world. Those global tensions felt in the UK Parliament. Lawmakers debated after nearly 2 million Britons signed a petition to downgrade Trump's upcoming state visit. We should not be inviting him to preach hatred and to spread his bigotry, his misogyny. The demonstrations here at home against Trump were mostly peaceful. In Oregon, protesters clashed with police who made several arrests.